My fellow Epic Gamers, how we all doing today? Welcome back to some more Bully Scholarship Edition, and we're outside the Yum Yum Market here, and it is time to get some revenge on old Tad for what he pulled in the last episode. We're going to pull up straight to his house, and we're going to do some stuff. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Damn, I'm look at Russell. One I'm hand holding him up I'm by dumb. his throat. Real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please. Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein. Not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad. Too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Hell yeah. Get revenge on all them preppies. That's how we do it. Oh, speaking of preppies. Got one right here. Is there a bike here? There's another bike here. Okay, good, good, good. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, though. Thank you guys so much for stopping by watching this video. Could be doing literally anything else with your time. Y'all ready to get some revenge? I got a new uh, haircut for Jimmy. This thing costs like 25 bucks. It's kind of bankrupted me again. Got Russell getting tired right here. But uh, this is my favorite haircut for Jimmy. Can't really show right now because I'm kind of trying not to crash, but it's my favorite one. I think he looks the best with it. Any other haircut, I think he looks kind of. Eh. But uh, it's the smart one, and I got a uh, chocolate as the hair color. And here we are, getting PTSD. Look at it. Look at it. Look at how beautiful my boy Jimmy is with the elegant little little outfit here. He's got some drip. Not gonna lie. All right, we're trespassing right now. We're kind of committing a crime, but whatever. Throw an egg through every open window. I'm gonna get eggs all over your TV. All over your wall. All over everything. And... Bah! Who threw that egg? Your mom. I know you're out there. Come come get me then. Come on. You know Go you wanna. There and find the There's two. God, it's, all over the walls. it's all over the walls! We'll oh, I missed. Oh! Hey guys, Russell! Throw, sick him! Get Gord! Nice! Floor. Interception! Got more coming out. PTSD, Chad. Oh, shit! He just walked right through it. Get him, Russell. Get him. All right. Yeah, here we go. He's glitched out. That'll, that'll work in my favor. Is he still trying to come after me? Go after Russell. Get him, Russell. Yeah, beat his ass. All right, they're fighting now. Last window's right here. If I can just aim it correctly. There's one. And last one. Got his ass. Now we're gonna run away. They'll never know who did it. Move out of my way, Gord. Or whoever you are, Justin. I don't know who you are. We're getting out of here. $15 and we got some sweet revenge. Oh, and I got an egg to the ass. That's no fun. All right, so now do we... The boxing challenge. This is the last mission for the chapter. This is when we take down the preppies. Do we want to do that one, though? I have Panty Raid. I... Ooh, I really want to do that. What time is it supposed to be? Nine o'clock? I think we have enough time. We're gonna go do panty raid instead of the boxing challenge. We'll save. We'll save that for later. The panty raid. Here we go. Evening, sir. Yo, boy. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm. Uh, uh, I, I I'm looking for naughty boys. I I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. What I mean, Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly! That's why I got this research. To check on the dangers. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you! No problem. But I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't, uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put this? I'm in charge of the laundry this week, but I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll, uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girl's dorm. Okay. And if you get caught, 
I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... What a truly dedicated teacher we have there. I, more teachers should be exactly like this guy. Totally. Where'd my bike go? Oh, here it is. Thought someone stole that shit. This is a dude I ran over earlier. <laughs> Get fucked, bro. So, yeah. Um, need to go get some laundry. Ugh. Amazing teacher, though. He's so dedicated to his craft. Wants to make sure he finds no young men in that store. Amazing teacher. So... Gonna go break into the girls' dorm over here. Gonna be a very fun time. Gonna have my usuals. Pinky, Mandy, they're gonna be waiting for me. <laughs> Gotta do it uh, very, very stealthily, though, so. I love how this is just kind of here on the side. If anyone wants to come in, the window's open and there's a little thing for you to climb. <laughs> Pretty convenient. All right, we're in. Collect the pieces of laundry, quote unquote. Phase one of the plan is done. Now phase two, you need to do sneaky snack. Why did, why did, who sneaks like that, Jimmy? That's so dumb. We also got to avoid, um, what have we here? Oh, we got a, that card. I forgot the name of it. Grottos and gremlins. That's what it is. Got to uh, not get spotted by the teacher here. I think she just does like a quick check and then she goes downstairs. So if you really want to, you can just kind of sit here on the stairs and just not be seen by her. I think she's going down the stone. Oh, no, she's going in that room. I should be able to make it. I should be able to make it. Score. We got one. Okay. Why do you keep worrying about being fat? Oh, that's so real. Hey, show me your other pictures. What pictures are we talking about? I can use that. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna snatch these real quick. They don't even care that I'm in here. I, I'm just too popular. See you later, chick. I don't know your name. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Oh, what do we got here? Oh uh, yeah, don't tell thinking. anyone I'm in here. Got some people showering, nice. All right, they're downstairs. Hey, don't scream, you just saw me. Oh, Eunice, she didn't give a shit. It's in the other room over here. You don't hear anything, old lady. You know what you're talking about. Uh-oh, busted. No, it's it's not Jimmy. That's my that's my evil brother Timmy. Escape the girls' dorm. We're going right out the front door. Right out the front door, like a fucking Giga Chad. We don't care. Come get me if you can. Haha! -ha, I escaped. We successfully went in and out with all the panties like a ninja. Steve Harrington would be proud. I hope these are worth all the trouble I just went through. Yes, thanks for this laundry. Here's some money for your troubles. Oh, thanks. 30 bucks? No way, dude. That's like the highest, like, amount of money I've ever gotten in this game from a mission. Are you kidding me, bro? Uh, we have the diary over there, too. What is it, 11 o'clock? Do you think we'll have enough time to do this? I think so. I think I pass out at, like, 2. I think I'll be okay. The diary. Back with my girl Beatrice. The herpes girl. <laughs> hey, Beatrice. What's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. <laughs> Gross. Secondly, Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like... She's in her delusional era. Enough. Oh okay. my god. I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. No, no. You, you can keep all that. I'm not trying to catch what you got, girl. 
All right, we need to enter the school through the window over the back. Don't mind me, Prefect. I'm just, you know, violating curfew. He didn't even care. He said, I don't get paid enough for this. I love how they have flashlights out here. Like, that's actually going to fucking do something. All right, so we need to get up here somehow? Was it... How do we... It's right here. Got it. Is he going to follow me up here? Oh, my God. He's following me up here. Can't follow me up here, though. It's the way he's looking at me, bro. He's extending his neck way back. All right, through the window. Oh, shit, there was a card there I missed. I'll come back and get on my way out. Said so we gotta go through the window because the front door is apparently locked for some reason. Even though it's l literally never locked, but... Video games, I guess. Oh my god! He didn't need to follow me, he just fucking teleported right behind me. Yeah, they're gonna take that to the foot. Get my skateboard. I'm a GTFO. Got another one here, we got another one here. It's okay, it's okay, we can make it, we can make it! Oh my god, the key! Oh! Need to check the staff room. Downstairs, step on his foot, get the hell out of here. That was genuinely terrifying. I almost had a heart attack. That man literally spawned on top of me when I came in. <laughs> Shit. Alright, well, I gotta wait a minute. Let me just, uh... Steal something from this locker real quick. Maybe get some money or something. For my troubles. Maybe there's some fucking herpes cream in here that I'll need. Got a hoodie. Blue hoodie. Alright. Is there a key in here? Let's see. Oh, we got it. Okay, nice. Oh, what's it say? That new Jimmy boy is so bad. Bad teeth, bad hair, bad smell, bad attitude. And yet, there's something about him that is just so alluring. I told Bucky about how I felt, and he didn't seem happy at all. That makes me a little sad, because Bucky's been such a great friend. I'd hate to think that something or someone in his life is not treating him well. Ah, uh -huh, you. <laughs> Bro was getting friend zoned so hard for a dude that doesn't even want her. Oh, I knew it. I walked by him today and he looked at me. He's such a free radical. How I'd love to pair his electrons. Oh, okay. She's got that, that chemistry where is. The whole thought of us making sweet organic chemistry just sends shivers down my spine. <laughs> Please, no. Oh, there you are. Did you get it? Yes, I did. And I didn't read it much. You know, only like half of it. I kind of regret it. Please don't. Please don't. Please. <gasps> uh, oh, nasty. Oh, God. Don't. Don't do that. That was exactly as I'd expected. And done. Come here. Come here. Arby's Come here. Talking about Arby's and shit. Why in the world? You know why. You know exactly why. I can't kick her. Oh, fuck. Prefect's closing in. Gonna have to take the long way around. All right, I gotta get my ass to bed. It's like midnight. Jimmy's gonna pass out soon and someone's gonna steal my shoes. Oh! I got a car. Oh, that's itching powder. I thought it was a card. Damn it. Ooh, I'm about to juke this ass. I'm about to juke this ass. Ooh! Look at that. Look at that. He tried. He fucking tried. Someone's trying to get me to do something, but, uh... No, I'm kind of busy right now. All right. Take my ass to bed, then I need to get ready for my classes in the morning. Looks like we got chemistry class. My favorite. Let's make some mustard gas. Oh, that kind of rhymed. I'm Dr. Seuss now. It's just, it's just the way I roll. Please go to your lab stations. Straight to the point. I like it. He's not like, hey class, what's don't up? Just just do your work. For God's sake, don't eat anything. I feel like that was directed at me. It only happened one time, okay? I ate a nuclear bomb. It upset my stomach a little bit. We're all good. Look at me being a being a scientist combining shit. Isn't it? There we go. I'm very focused. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Carry on. Excellent work today, Mr. Hopkins. What do I get now? I think I got uh might I get itching powder the first time? Or might I got firecrackers? I don't know. When you complete all the classes, you can go back to your chemistry set in your room and you can just do it infinitely. That's how it's done. Stink bombs are now available. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to fart in this little jar and then throw it at bitches. Alright, that is it. Nah, I support. I support Johnny all the way. What does this bitch want? Oh my god, it's that bitch that has a crush on Trevor. Do it yourself. Woman up. All right, now it's time to go take down the, the little preppies.
So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. No, what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Come on, Petey. Come on, you're in on this. You gave me the idea. You give me most of my good ideas. It's starting to snow, too. That means that uh, the next chapter, it's gonna it's gonna be Christmas. It's gonna be Mary Chrysler in this bitch. All right, so yeah, we're gonna walk right into the, the gym. We're gonna walk right up to Biff Taylor. And we're gonna say, hey, fight me, ho. And then we're, we're just gonna beat him up in front of everybody. And that's how we're gonna take down the preps. Because they're totally fair like that and won't do anything else whatsoever. <laughs> All right, we got a box again. Boxing's low-key kind of fun in this game, not gonna lie. Not when you have to do it like five times in a row, but every now and you then. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. I wouldn't be so sure, Biff. What kind of a name is Biff? <laughs> your, uh, your mother must have hated you. I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. Round one. Speaking of boxing, y'all see uh, the KSI and Tommy Fury fight? What do y'all think of that? KSI apparently got robbed, bro. Ooh, Logan Paul beat the shit out of Dylan Dennis, though. That was kind of nice to see. Okay, need to get focused and need to lock on here. He's landing too many punches. Can't let this slide. Oh, dodge. Oh, my God. Okay. Come on. He won't make it to round two. I'm going to do my best. First round decapitation on the first one. Probably not going to be able to do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Almost there. Ugh. He's, he's wobbled. I almost had him. If there was like a second more, he would have been done. Yeah, he, he's going down. He ain't, he ain't getting out of this. This man really wants me to kick him in the nuts, bro. Keeps shedding that every time. so much better, you know. I love watching hurt Yeah, he's hurt me so much. Look at my health compared to his. He's got like three black eyes. D don't question the math on that. Just go with it. Oh! Oh! And the finishing blow. And he's done. We just knocked out the best. You know what that means, right? Now we're the best. Who's the baddest? Me. Who's the toughest? Me. Who's the man? Me. Me, losers. Me. The champion number one. I killed the best. I will beat the rest. Yeah. What have we got wrong. here? That That's poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff. He's our new it. champion. Just... What? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <clears throat> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. What the fuck? <laughs> Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! Oh my god, not the ghetto. All right, well, like I said, we're going to take them all on now. Okay, didn't even get a chance to block that. Here we go. Woo. I wish I could fight Gord in the boxing ring. Ow. Now, we're, we're going humili to humiliate all these bitches if I can talk. Ooh, that was a sick little dodge there, not going to lie. Give him that. Oh, you thought. All right, here we go. Bitch slap, bitch slap. Then finish it off. Got to humiliate them and then knock them out. Look at that loser Biff. Still laying there covered in his own blood and piss. We got Chad here. Knock his ass out. I need to go back to the hobo. I need to find more transistors. I need more fighting moves. I'm better at boxing than I'm at actual fighting. There we go. 
Yeah, you had an amazing reputation, totally. All right, Darby, here we go. This is the most satisfying boss fight. Hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you. I'd say out of, like, all the bosses in this game, I definitely hate Darby the most. Like, probably even more than Gary. Just because, like, he's rich and all that shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I gotta close these doors. Get away from me. I got business to tend to. Close the door, Jimmy. Come on. Right, there's one. An ill bread, bruh. All right, so now we can't have more friends come in. We can just fight him with these two, I guess, in the background. Huh. Sit the fuck down, Gord. You too. There we go. Two for one special. All right, now it's just you and me, Darby. Let's go. Oh, he's got some moves, not gonna lie. I got better moves. I got the thing called a leg sweep and an uppercut. Didn't see that coming, did you? Can I grab him? I doubt it. No, I can't. Fuck. Is there like a... Ooh, can I smash his box over his face? No, I can't. Damn it. I got a firecracker with your name on it, though. One more. Melee him. Oh, yeah. And now we kill him. <laughs> Instead of just knocking him out, we had to go for the killing blow. The fatality. Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question. You are... Louder! You are... Uh... That's right. Me. Now you girls learn to play nice. You understand? So now the, the preps are going to be on our side. Not that I really want them on my side that much. But uh, that is done with chapter two. We're moving on to chapter three. Now, Darby Halfway is really there. Stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. Oh yeah, time to go after the greasers, Mr. Johnny V himself. Johnny Vincent. Getting in mad trouble, apparently, according to the, so the you office lady. So, you proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. It's Christmas, though, guys. I love Christmas so much. Let's go. Uh, let's go take a little look at uh, the decorations and everything here. When this loads, playing on the Xbox One, this takes like seven years to load. Hi, guys. All doing though. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. All right. What the hell's going on here, Gord? What are you doing, Gord? What? Uh, what is? What? There's a witch in the girls' dorm. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! <laughs> well, damn. All right, everyone's in their um, their little uh, winter outfits. Got a Christmas tree right here. We got Petey playing his little game. Look at how excited he is. What do you want, fatty? Are you trying to fight? You got the strength of an ogre? What did I do to this man? Was he in the blast when I exploded that shit? Must have been. Oh, we got art. All right, we're going to go do art, and then I'm going to finish the video off. Oh my god, it's snowing, y'all. I love snow in, like, movies and video games and stuff. Not so much in real life, because uh, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Uh, because of just the atmosphere and everything. I love it. And then Halloween would probably be my second favorite. You got all the beautiful lights and all the people that are supposedly happy, even though we all know they're not really Everyone is just depressed inside, but uh, we put out a front that we're all happy, which is nice. 
and uh, you know, of course, presents and everything that that never hurts. Just, just very, very fun times. In this assignment, I'd like you to pay particular attention to the emotions you experience and try to get them onto the page. I'll show you my emotions if you don't put those fucking knockers away. All right, third one. Here we go. This is gonna get a bit harder. Oh, that scissor's coming right for me. I'm gonna get scissored. Boom! Almost 50% in one go. Gonna have to go here. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Another one just spawned out of nowhere. There we go! I am such a pro! That rhymed again. Do you like the emotion I'm showing, Miss Phillips? That's excellent, Jimmy. Mind if I keep it? Do you like how big my emotion is? <laughs> Please don't laugh at it. <laughs> uh, I'm awesome! 75% health bonus for kissing girls. I should teach lessons or something. Hell yeah, I should. I was gonna say let's test it, but then Beatrice was the first person I saw. I'm not trying to catch anything else, so... You're just gonna have to take my word for it. 